write a python program which finds the maximum number from number 1 to number 1 number 2 is inclusive based on the following rules always number 1 should be less than number 2 consider each number from number 1 to number 2 number 2 is inclusive so they have pointed is twice populate the number of populate the number into a list if the below conditions are satisfied sum of the digits of the number is a multiple of 3 sum of the digits of the number is a multiple of 3 number has only two digits number is a multiple of 5 display the maximum elements from the list in case of any invalid data or if the list is empty display minus 1 so the logic is very simple first and foremost condition is number 1 should be less than number 2 then they say populate the number into a list so we'll have to take if say the range is um, you know starting from a number to another number 10 to 15 so they say first condition is uh, number 1 10 should be less than 15 yes condition is true that is the first condition and second condition they say populate the number into a list so we'll have to consider each number from 10 uh, we'll have to consider 10 11 if number 1 is 10 and number 2 is 15 we'll have to consider numbers between 10 and 15 numbers including number and, uh, and number 1 and number 2 so 10 should be considered 11 12 13 14 15 all the numbers should be considered so we'll have to populate the variables into a list we'll have to create an empty list and append the value to the list if these three conditions are met so let's look at number has only two digits which means number should be greater than 9 and less than 100 okay the number is multiple of 5 which means uh, number modulus 5 equal to equal to 0 then sum of the digits of the number is a multiple of 3 for example 1 10 we take 10 so 1 plus 0 is 1 so it is not multiple of 3 then again 11 we take 11 1 plus 1 is 2 it is not multiple of 3 right 2 modulus 3 we will not get 0 then third condition uh, 13 1 plus 3 4 it is not multiple of 3 1 plus 4 5 is not multiple of 3 1 plus 5 6 is not is a multiple of 3 but is it a uh, sum of this is for a sum of the numbers then finally we will have to check 1 plus 5 15 yes it is a multiple 1 plus it is not 1 plus 5 so in this condition sum of the digits so if you take for example 15 as a sum of uh, digits 1 plus 5 is 6 it is a multiple of uh, 3 then 15 number 15 itself without multiplying uh, digits of sum 15 itself is a multiple of 5 15 modulus 5 equal to equal to 0 yes so we'll have to check these three conditions so we'll have to take uh, number by number from number 1 to number 2 so we have range function so if basically range function includes number 1 but excludes number 2 for example if you say uh, range of 10 comma 15 so it takes 10 11 12 13 14 but it does not take 15 so to include 15 what we have to do we will have to add plus 1 so now num1 is 10 so num2 is 15 plus 1 so 10 comma 16 this is the logic behind this code then we take three conditions number should be divisible of 5 then it should be only two digit so two digit means greater than 9 and less than 100 is a two digit then i have derived a function is sum multiple of 3 the sum should be multiple of 3 so that we need to we have created a function to which i am passing this value then it will be checked and it returns true so one is number should be a multiple of 5 and it should be a two digit number and third sum of the digits should be multiple of 3 so we have created this function e is multiple of 3 so is a number multiple of 3 is some multiple of 3 that is what we are checking so we are passing the number to this then it performs uh, sum of digits then after sum of digits you check if it is multiple of 3 so modulus 3 equal to equal to 0 if it is so it is multiple of 3 so we return true so if we return true what will happen this condition will be will have value but this condition will be true not just this condition all the three conditions should be met that is why we have used and operator if any of the condition any of the conditions should be met then we will we should have used or operator if all the three conditions are true then what we do say we populate this number into list append the element to the list 
then we need to take after populating the variable to the list we need to take the maximum number sometimes few of the test cases may not be passed because if uh, none of the conditions are met no elements will be inserted or populated into the list then uh, trying to find a maximum from a list will throw an error because uh, trying to find a maximum number from a list which has no element it does not make sense so just to overcome that we add this condition if len of list 1 is greater than 0 then we find a maximum number of the maximum list otherwise by default maximum number will have minus 1 that's about it all the test cases are passed